What's the matter? Tired of not knowing the difference between a megabyte and a terabyte? Then you really need to watch Digithead. Digithead, the locally produced TV show for the non-computer savvy and then some. Every week, your hosts Chip and Monir show you a variety of people, places, and things to help expand your computer knowledge in the 21st century. Digithead, making computer technology more digestible. Watch Digithead on Cablevision every Sunday at 1 p.m. <coughs> Hello. Hmm. Hi, I'm Alison Gallagher. I'm from Manchester, and you're watching Digit Head. I'm Rob from Holland. I'm a police officer, and you're watching Digit Head. Hi, hi. We're from England. England. We're, We're in Amsterdam, Amsterdam, and you're, you're watching, watching Digit Head. <laughs> cool. We're going to be visiting with the artists, the internet researchers, and the program developers who have chosen to make this beautiful city of Amsterdam their home, and to show us what's next here on this special edition of Digithead in Amsterdam. of the Kuro Hotel here in Amsterdam, this is Chip Ng. I'm on your man own. You're watching a special edition of Did Head in Amsterdam. That's right, we're here on top of the roof ship, the El Kuro Hotel. We're looking at it on the east side of the city. And this is a lovely hotel. They've this been our home base here for the past few days. Wonderful hotel staff, and we couldn't ask for better hosts. I'm telling you, the warmth and the friendliness of the people here in Amsterdam, the culture of these people is just it's wonderful. They've been absolutely more than helpful with, with providing us services and directions for where we had to go. Speaking of where we've gone, that's right, we visited, among other places, the Center for Electronic Music in Amsterdam. There, Diana and co-programmer is leading facility and helping teach children how to use and manipulate music and grow with music without having learned all the theory yet. And building on top of the old with new, we went to one of the oldest buildings here in Amsterdam called Vivach. And there we met some uh, program developers who are helping uh, develop programs for mentally ill communicate better with us and uh, other people who are developing software to help us realize serious racial sensitivity that some of us harbor. And uh, after that, we met with digital media artist Evo Van Sipout, who works at the Sandrick Institute, which is a progressive institute where the latest and leading edge computer graphics technology are being worked on by some very, very enthusiastic students. It's also sort of work as well. And of course, what it is that it wouldn't complete without our questions and answers. We found a uh, common chord among us between the uh, people of Holland and, and America. We'll be uh, moving forward. You come and share our eyes through Amsterdam. Finally get her in with X and get some job at the same time as Top of the Tank at the Found Out Journey. I get to see what we saw. Come on. That itch. You've got that old information itch. You've got to get your daily information access and you've got to get your internet access now. Where do you go to satisfy that urge? Well, we're here in front of the Internet Cafe. We're going to find out just what it's all for public internet access in a walk-in, talk-in environment. Internet cafe is a cafe where they have the computers uh, and to actually make it easier for people to communicate with each other, make the world smaller, my personal opinion, because you can see things about other people, cultures, parts of the world, even outside of the world that you normally really have to go to a library to or read elsewhere. So come here to chat, mail, to uh, meet people. You need to make an when somebody is, uh, for instance, doing something on the internet that is not allowed. So for instance, if I see that somebody is uh, busy downloading uh, uh, children porn that call out. There are a total of uh, 32 groups. Across the street, we are um, a unique dust without. 
and you can uh, use computers. And it's a pretty unique world, you know, smoking pot behind the computer. All sorts of people come, they're doctors, still uh, cleaners or housewives, and they all use computers, whether it's with alcohol or with pot or just without. Other parts of the country might be smoking behind your computer, but in the privacy of your own home, you can do it on the street. People know that uh, drugs is being imported. Uh, the government is controlling it in some way. Uh, everybody that sells drugs pays tax for the drugs. Um, it's a fresh train rule because drugs is being bought by the dealer. Uh, the dealer gets stuff uh, from outside of Holland or from inside of Holland, from the local places, um, and sell to the coffee shops and they buy it. Some coffee shops have our own dealer and they provide themselves of that stuff. For a lot of people have private lives. You know, so it's a very private place to go. Uh, if you don't want to be served by other people or you want to do something that you don't want other people to know, a place where you can go as an individual and nobody will bother you, come and do whatever you like on a computer, after that take. Yeah. That makes it so easy. Yeah. Center for Electronic Music and Center of Invention. The yeah. yeah. stands for Center for Electronic Music, yeah. and it's a studio, electronic studio, the, uh, the oldest uh, of the Netherlands. Uh, it's the Philips studio. Uh -huh. you know Philips? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, the real old uh, synthesizers. Yeah, how cool is that place? Um, well, I'm sure I think it's from the 60s, yeah. maybe, maybe. Yeah. Do you still use that? Yeah, it's all, uh, it's all functioning. It's all functioning, yeah. yeah. Since four years we are in uh, Amsterdam, in the item build. Sam Studio is a, it's a moment it's for composers from the magazine from abroad. I work since uh, three or years in the Children's Symposium Workshop. We do projects for children in the area of electronic music. They're actually developing a software program here at CEM uh, that the kids are going to be using to create music. And uh, we, we have a kind of working prototype here we're going to take a look at. All right. Mm -hmm. How does this work? Wow. To make sounds and music with sounds. Yeah. So the story is a, it supposed to serve as inspiration to the music they're about yeah. to create. Sets the, the mood, sets the tone, sets the background, sets the sound Yeah, on and in the end you can, you, can, uh, you can put away the, the story and you have the story and sound. Right. And then you can go further with only the music and the sounds. So the oh, kids can actually just uh, take the sounds and they can sort of drag them where they want to hear the sound. Yeah. And it actually will, will show them there the, the length of that chunk of sound they can actually see how long it's going to be, how long it's going to play, and sort of yeah. gauge the music around it. With, with every story, we, uh, we have 20 uh, writers, children books. Mm -hmm. They write stories for it. Mm -hmm. And for every story, we make a set of dedicated sounds mm -hmm. that fits mm -hmm. with that story. Yeah, I think uh, children, they are really uh, uh, open-minded open about music. The center of this beautiful city lies black. A place that embodies the desire of the human spirit to learn and continue. A place as far back as 1691 at the world of the Sign by performing human dissections of discoveries for learning. In keeping with the tradition, today, the side for all the new media make their home here. We speak with some of the people today that are helping shape the future for tomorrow and see how they are using computer technology in new ways to help mankind communicate and relate better with each other. We get all our free. Cyber Community Media is a Nigella and we develop all kinds of new technologies about for people to communicate and to be able to, uh, to, uh, to act in virtual spaces. We want to, uh, to um, with our own cultural background, we want to change the technologies which surround us and want to make them um, more interesting for people. We are interested in technology which enables people to participate, to communicate, to produce and to, be, to, to, to empower them in all, all sorts of ways. Now you have developed software that allows disabled people to use a computer? Yes, we talk about mentally disabled people. Okay, okay, mentally handicapped. And, 
But as a result of this, it enables them to communicate in an easy way with, for example, the parents or the care uh, giver in another building. They start a program with a key like this. This has got a name on it and a button with a unique ID. If you connect to a map like this, it usually starts the program and you're uh, immediately uh, logged on. So you don't have to remember a username or a password or sort of things. Uh, oh. The user is now connected, identified, okay. and he's greeted by the computer. This is a book with uh, a page every day. So today is Friday, May 18th, that's the computer set when you start it up. We are just time to use this. And the, 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 the user group is very new to the computer network. Many of the institutions they have some computers for administration, but not for the people themselves. Mm -hmm. And they have no network at all, or only starting uh, to have network. And this piece of software is called Heritage Guard. Okay, and it's an ethnic editor. So it allows you to edit your ethnicity. As we were trying to show that software itself is a cultural form. It's not, it's not a natural tool in any way, shape or form. You know what I mean? It has constructs. It, it comes from this particular point in society. You know what I mean? It's not there for you to have fun with. It's usually there to extract value from you as a user for your employer. And that's like, that, that's really what we're trying to do. It was only kind of like, like chink in the arm. You know what I mean? Just irritate a bit and say, maybe there's a conversation to be had. People are able to express themselves with who they are and be able to other people. That makes them a human being, a social being, and it feels um, uh, well, a being which is there in love and has a living and work and making it. Hi, I'm Chip Gang, and I'm on your own in Amsterdam! Woo! Hey!